In 2005, the Federal Aviation Administration contracted a highly specialized government function called flight service. The 2,300 federal employees who lost their government jobs were professional air traffic controllers overseeing private aviation in America. The contract with Lockheed Martin was the largest civilian service contract ever awarded. Since the skills necessary to perform the flight service function were so highly specialized, the workforce was denied the routine placement and relocation alternatives typically offered to other FAA employees. Air traffic controllers are covered by a special government retirement program, a program to which they contribute significantly more than other federal employees. Upon being contracted, the air traffic controllers who lost their government jobs were denied their rights and benefits under that retirement system after paying into that system for many years. None of us were um, given our retirement benefits or, or rights or even a choice to, um, to, to receive any additional years or, or months or days to reach our retirement eligibility. Well, I thought I was going to get a whole career with the FAA, somewhere around 25 to 30 years at a minimum. And I got 19 years, three months, five days to be exact. And at that time, I had 20 years and a half uh, years with the federal government as an air traffic controller. However, I did not have the age. At that time, I was 45 years old, and the minimum age requirement was 50. We had paid into the retirement system at 1.7%. What I was going to get back was 1.1%. So besides the penalty that we would have gotten uh, for my age, uh, I was also going to get uh, my retirement in general reduced by probably pretty close to a half. Since I was over 50 at the time, I was contracted out. I got a discontinued service retirement. And discontinued service retirement wouldn't even make my house payment. So I could not retire. I couldn't do anything with that money but continue working for Lockheed Martin. Not only do I lose my retirement, but also the health care benefits, which to me are huge. Uh, not having that option, which was promised in a federal retirement, is, is very significant in my opinion. Uh, when they sent me my uh, time handwritten, I did have 20 years. And then when it was sent to me as a computer-generated product, I was short about three months and 10 days. Going to Washington, HR, they said no. They were not going to change anybody's time. They were not going to give anybody any time. They were not going to help anybody. And so I've been fighting that for five years. It's been a really big toll on myself and my family. In fact, right now I'm going through a divorce, uh, partially because of that. The government has always taken care of their own before. They've either offered that early retirement or um, they've offered uh, a different job within a government department. You know, we are the first ones that we know of that weren't offered that. Uh, in fact, if you look under their regs, it says they have to. Uh, I went to work for Lockheed because it was basically I, could aff I couldn't afford not to work. There are procedures in place in the federal government where if you lose your job, they're supposed to really bend over backwards to attempting to find you another job in the federal workforce. That was never done because of the way that this contract was structured. Basically, we were blacklisted. They took a small percentage just so they could say that they took some but I applied for numerous um, towers in the area um, and though qualified, never even got an interview because they had to give so much of the workforce to Lockheed. This isn't a job, you can just take people off the street and next week they can be doing it. I was forced to leave my house in uh, Grand Rapids, which is west of Lansing, unable to sell it without a great financial uh, reduction in price. I lived in the ho hotel uh, down the road here for seven, eight months by myself, so I didn't even see my family for that time. Just because we're working for Lockheed, the job description or what we do is 100% identical to what we did for the federal government. But my time is not counting towards my retirement, which, you know, is unfair. You know, we paid extra into our retirement so that we being forced to retire at age 56 wouldn't be hurt by that. We'd get a little extra to make up for those years. Um, and we worked hard to get there. 
Now to be told that uh, it doesn't matter what we paid in or you know what we did, it's um, we don't get uh, you know any of our retirements for that, and that's just uh, really hurtful. We had Social Security, we had uh, retirement from the FAA, and we had thrift savings plan. The only thing I was able to keep was my thrift savings plan. I lost the other two legs, and I wasn't able to continue to build the one. The most important aspect was that we have done our part of the job. We have fulfilled our obligations, and we're only asking the government to fulfill theirs. We absolutely do need the support of our representatives in Washington, D.C. Um, without them, this can, won't be fixed. Burns me up that this type of stuff goes on where they deny my pension but won't tell me what I need to do to get it, and that's just not right. We're not asking uh, for something that we didn't already earn. We're not asking for something that wasn't promised to us already. We just need to make our families whole. Your co-sponsorship of the FSS Retirement Fairness Act is vital to restore the benefits these workers have earned through their loyal service.